And I'd just like to finish by touching on an issue that, that has been the source of some international controversy, the LGBT issue, which in East Africa, many East African countries, uh, has been controversial. Um, just recently, the neighboring country of Uganda um, uh, introduced very uh, draconian legislation, which caused quite an outcry internationally. Do you have a feeling that Uganda has gone too far with its legislation? I am Kenyan, so you, I'm sure Ugandans can speak for themselves. I can only tell you about Kenya and uh, what Kenya as, as a country and me as a leader. Uh, we, we've, we've taken the position that uh, the provisions of the Constitution as it is today, the provisions of the law as it is today, we allow other countries to do what they want to do. Uh, we, 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 we cannot dictate to Germans or Americans or French or Ugandans on what they want to do. That, that's theirs to choose. For us as a, as a country, we have taken a position, and, and that position is informed by our culture, our tradition, our constitution, and our laws. But those laws do um, date back to the colonial era in some cases. Um, and, you know, critics outside would say, well, you know, LGBT rights are, are an intrinsic part of uh, human rights, which are internationally recognized. Do you recognize that? Do you see that the, the rights of LGBT people are intrinsic to, uh, intrinsically a question of human rights, which are universal? Or do you feel that it is simply something that it is for each country to decide? The Kenyan constitution is a 2010 constitution. In fact, it was celebrated as the most progressive constitution, providing especially the chapter on human rights and, and the rights of people and, 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 and the extent of the protection of rights of people that is enshrined uh, in the Constitution. And in that context, in the formulation of that Constitution, the people of Kenya spoke expressly as to what kind of rights and to what extent everybody can enjoy their rights without infringing on the rights of others. In Kenya, the only understanding of relationships around marriage is around men marrying women, that, that's the, the, the context of a relationship that exists in Kenya and exists in our constitution and is provided for in our constitution. And it can happen elsewhere. We have no issue with people celebrating their issues in America and in other countries. That is their choosing. Just very briefly, I mean, it, it, it was really just a blink of an eye also in Europe, in, in the United States, that... Um, marriage was only between a man and a woman as well. It's a very short time. Do you think that will never come in Kenya, or you think maybe it will just come, but, but 